Hey guys, you're watching official Zenlab tutorials and I'm continuing the previous tutorial where we started to learn about list processing but we use only one specific action from list processing so in this video tutorial we will learn all of them I'll explain you how to use them and when they can be useful ok, I opened the project from the previous tutorial you can do the same let's do it empty ok I have only list here so please also do this but my list is empty I'm going to fill in it first it doesn't matter what values will be here I update the file ok and now you can see that I have 5 items here like in the file that I've just done ok I take list processing drag it to our project connect start with it and let's take a look what actions can be done first of all we select the list we have only one and then we should select an action what can we do here let's start in the same order the first action add line what does it mean for instance your list is dynamic and you put values during execution process so we can put here any value like side or even variable any variable ok or something from profile so it can be any values that you want to put in your list then you should choose where you can do it in the end in the beginning or you can mark specific number when it will be put Usually with list I put uh, all values to the end because I think it's most convenient way to add new data to a list. In this case you don't rewrite your current values so you won't lose them. The next action add data from another list. It's quite similar to the previous action but in this case we select list from which we put all values to our current list let's close it and add another list we won't even edit it you can choose here list 1 and then again position in that action I recommend you to use option to the end so we won't lose your current values and nothing will be written ok next action get rows count it means how many elements you have in your list let's even execute it I call new verbal count ok I won't create new alert to show the value we will look at the value in verbal control here you start a bug you can see that count is empty now after execution of the first action it's 5 so yeah we have five items in our list so that's how it works quite easy next action is delete lines if you want to delete specific item from your list you can do it here there are a lot of different options you can remove first lines or specific item by number by value remove all elements like here even remove elements that contain some text and even remove element by regular expression next action as I just told you it get line I usually get line with ticked checkbox delete line after taken so in this case I don't need to create another action to delete a line and usually it's necessary for data to don't be used twice ok we also can specify number of lines that we want to take ok next action remove duplicates from list I often use this action when I scrape data because we don't need scrape duplicates usually that's why it can be very convenient or you even have a file of URLs and you don't want to edit this file you can just take data from there and then remove duplicates ok next action it's select sublist 
In case you need some specific items be taken and put to another list, you can create sublist. Select here a list on which we put our new sublist and here you can specify range like we want all items from first to third. So you can specify it like this. Also rows can be deleted after taking it. Okay. Next action is shuffle elements of lists. As you know all items have its order, so you can shuffle them and order will be new. And the last two actions I'll discuss in the next video tutorial. Thank you for watching. Bye.